Welcome to another studio vlog. We are on a roll, y'all, and I'm in the studio right now in my pajamas having a little PJ party by myself. Thank God I'm by myself. I just like some alone time to chill, just to vibe. I had a super long day today, even though I skipped my classes. Um, it was still a long day. I got a lot of homework done in the morning. I went for a little run in the morning. No, I didn't, actually. Did I? No, I didn't. Y'all gonna hear me like a broken record. I did a lot of work this morning with Art Talk Collective, but I finally finished naming all the files. Thank God. And so now I'm just gonna prepare some website assets for Tildy and I to go over tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. My time, 12 p.m. Tildy's time. We're gonna get this shit done. Oh, and then I went to lunch with a friend. It's 12 a.m. here. I was just uploading the YouTube video and I came into the studio to do that because guess what y'all my Wi-Fi spectrum for my apartment it literally takes almost an hour and a half to upload a two gigabyte video to YouTube. I kid you not at USC I upload it. It takes less than a minute less than a minute that's the one thing usc got right is the damn wi-fi the wi-fi here is incredible um i don't know how it gets through this damn thick concrete walls at roski they have routers in here or something they hooked us up with some good app wi-fi that's not spectrum spectrum is chill it's chill but also it's not chill like it's not. It's not a vibe sometimes. In the studio, I worked on a couple of drawings. Two vlogs ago, y'all saw me do a little art supply haul with this Kinwashi paper. And I tried to draw on it today, which is really, really nice. It has manila hemp fibers that are glossy and golden. And I think it really elevates them. I'm still trying to work out what it means to use this type of paper for this type of drawing. I don't really know. I'm also not trying to think too hard about it. I'm going to sell these like to y'all. Um, I'll probably price it. Okay, it's going to seem crazy to price it at like a hundred dollars or like 150 but these are literally gonna go up in value babes like when i'm literally rich and famous like it's gonna be crazy and those are gonna be worth like a trillion dollars so it's 150 dollars right now like really that bad um i'm kidding but i'm not kidding all my art pieces will vary in range so everyone will be able to purchase some of my art hopefully and if not you can easily consume them online if you aren't able to to buy it. Oh, oh my god, Gina's here. Do you want to say hi to Gina? Hello, who is this? This is a vlog. Do you want to say <gasps> hi? Hi, my name is Gina. No, I just got done with like a ceramic glaze assignment and I'm just wandering around. Dude, it took me like 20 minutes, no joke, to like figure out how to get here. Right, because you have to go through and up. Yeah, and no, then. I was like, why is all the doors like locked? Hard bitch is working and painting until like, you know, Literally. 3 a.m. But like, yeah, I had to go through architecture, which is. Wait, so why are you here? Um, uh, I'm bored. I feel like ceramic has been flopping, as in like, we used to have like people in the studio, like, like 3 a.m. Yeah, but now everyone goes home at 2. It's crazy. Painting is where it's at. I gotta join this class. I'm leaving soon. Oh, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> where can they find you? At J-E-A-N-A -A dot 333. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, my art account is like Jung Art which is tagged under that personal account. I'm Erin, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, what year are you, when are you studying, and when are you working on it? I am a fifth year um, Bachelor of Science Architecture student, but I love ceramics, mm -hmm. and I'm working on a palm tree, abstract palm tree for my dad. Fingerprints. Fingerprints. Not very good at this, so. Oh, it's gonna be like, I think it, it, there's a maximum because the kiln can't handle right. like a certain height. So like, I'm gonna flare it out a little bit and um, I'm gonna do kind of like a abstract like leaf pattern. It's gonna like, I'm gonna grid it out. I'm gonna cut out certain portions of it and then um, carve it because engraving is like my specialty. Scrafito. Oh, scrafigo, scrafito. Mm. Yeah, I never call it that. I just say like engraving. Engraving. Well, that's why we don't say these things in studio. Yeah. Okay, where can they find you? Oh. Watch these things, by the way. Oh. Like, where can they find you if they do want to find you? <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me in Tahunga. No, um, yeah. Instagram yeah, at e e c e e art e e c e e art. Oh yeah, twice for y'all. Twice for y'all. It's okay. it's kind of hard sometimes. People don't. Yeah. Right, it's yeah. like onomatopoeia. I love it. Thank you. Okay, work. Thanks for oh, coming. You're welcome, Brad. Slay. Slay. Now it's your turn, Kira. Oh, it's like a little fit check. It's a little fit check. Oh, jeans, ass. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even think I showed it. Okay, Kira, 
I'm a business major, ceramics minor, undeclared. I'm working on this like devil lady. It's like low-key me scheming. Like this is me when I scheme. Mm. Uh, the hair is very inspired by Patty Warshina. Ooh. Shout out to her, I love her stuff. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm also doing like a, should we travel with the mic? With Come the this mic. way, right this way. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to undress her for the camera. It's gonna be a fire hazard. It's gonna be fire hazard 1001 is gonna be the title. Uh, I'm just gonna put candles in all the crevices and it's gonna be like a big CNN in me. They can find me on Instagram. This isn't my personal account, but it's because the other account is like under construction because I like yeah, flopped. Just Kira Wilkins, Kira, K E. I R A dot W I L K I N S, or you could email me for inquiry. K E I R A W I L at USC.edu. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You are not going to believe what happened. I was shaving my head again, buzzing it, and I guess I turned the razor to like sideways and look oh do you see those lines do you see those lines i was just gonna wear a hat but then i was like you know what fuck it like the girls should see my head and so i'm just gonna rock it and pretend like nothing happened but it's bad it's really bad like really bad i'm gonna go to cal state la right now to see my professor's show then i'm gonna hop over to the ucla mfa studios see what they're doing, what the girls are up to, and then head back here to do some work in the stew. So obviously, I thought it only took 20 minutes to get to the gallery, but my dumbass calculated that literally late last night. And so it takes actually 34 minutes to get there. Yikes. I just wrapped up at Cal State LA and saw my professor's show. It was so good and I think his piece, and I personally think his piece is one of my favorites. Of course, my indecisive ass, one, took off the glasses and two, changed my shirt. Like you probably saw in the last clip before I got into the car, like my shirt was different. So I'm in a waffle tea. It's still put together, still a nice chill vibe, but it's a bit more, Mm, it's just more fun it's just more playful it's less serious i keep telling y'all like, i've been so self-conscious lately but oddly enough this haircut little mishap it makes me feel better about myself in some way because i'm like if looks are so f come and go then like babes do i really need plastic surgery that was so out of left field and out of pocket but like i feel like we're all kind of thinking about it everyone has considered plastic surgery or maybe not considered so heavily but like thought about oh what would i get done if i got plastic surgery sad but also like do what you want with your body and also like bodies themselves are fluid and plastic and like if you think about what cosmetic surgeries do essentially like where is the line between like a bit of filler here doing like skincare like we're already like bioengineering our bodies to like look better like i'm not sure if that makes sense but you know what i mean like it's a spectrum in terms of how much you want to change your face and also like I don't even know, I don't even know. This is, I'm gonna cut all this out. People say that I come off very confident and not that insecure. I'm constantly insecure. Like, oh my gosh. First of all, I had horrible skin in high school. I'm still thankful for the skin that I had. Like, it could have been worse. There's always more severe cases, but it made me so self-conscious where I didn't want to go to school. Literally did not want to go to school, did not want to go to social functions, did not want to go outside. I was just so insecure. And so it obviously translates into adulthood and even more so because when you have a certain family member telling you, oh my God, you have like this wrong with your face, this wrong with your face, obviously like you're gonna see your face differently. And so I've been trying to deconstruct all of that. Yeah, who knows? Who literally knows? But I was like, oh my God, like my skin's so like not a vibe, but whatever, what literally ever, like everyone, if I see someone with unclear skin, first of all, I barely don't even notice it. Second of all, it does not matter to me at all for them, especially I'm their friend. And that's the only like opinion you should really be caring about is like the people close to you. Like obviously a hater can come by and be like, wow, like you look so bad today. The people close around you, no one gives a f Will I ever judge my friends the way I judge myself? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And what I realized too is that shallowness is reflexive and reflective, babe. Because I'm not giving myself the grace to be imperfect, it goes to a point where not only does it spread 
internally, but it spreads externally too. Not necessarily that I'm judging and critiquing people, but it's just like negative energy. Energy cannot be just contained into your mental space. Like it will always subconsciously flow out of you. And so I just don't need to do that. And I need to reclaim like my own kind of headspace. And now I'm on my way to the UCLA MFA studios in Culver City. For some reason, I had the impression that if it's UCLA, babe, like I'd be going to Brentwood and be in UCLA but apparently not which is actually better for me because it's way closer to my house but yeah i'm really excited because first of all you all probably know this little person their name is dane dane is a first year in the ucla ceramics mfa program and they've just been killing it like making paintings a ton of ceramics but just doing really conceptual work while also having a lot of like really impactful messages like organizing um various stands advocating for ceasefires like doing the most for divesting away from companies that are supporting um the genocide essentially and so it's just really impactful just to see everything that they're doing and so it's really awesome that i get to see them in person again today and if y'all just like me talking please comment down below if you just enjoy hearing me yap and yap and yap because I have no clue. I just be, I'm just yapping away. I just want to like keep posting, posting, posting because babe, I love connecting with y'all. Whenever I get a YouTube comment, I get so giddy. Y'all have no idea. For some reason, Instagram comments, they hit. TikTok comments, they hit. But a YouTube comment it just feels elevated to me. It feels like I'm fine dining. It feels literally like my vibrations have been ascended to infinity. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. This is some of Dane's work. It's absolutely stunning. Does a lot with their like cultural background, their upbringing, and it just slayed. It just ate and devoured. After that, I went with Tildy to do the website design for our talk collector that I talked about earlier. And we were just grinding that out for like three different hours. And we're gonna launch it in the next vlog. So y'all should stay tuned. It's finally getting warm in LA. So I am running shirtless, whoops. Whoops, sue me. It's just more comfortable, TBH. I don't wanna be like one of those fucking frat men. But like, girl, sometimes I just need to tan and the beach is too far away. Hopefully I'll run a longer distance at a slower pace, but knowing me, I'm not gonna do that. We'll see. Yet again, I'm in the same damn position. So wetty as fuck, as opposed to the last vlogs. But you know what? That's just how it goes sometimes. That's literally just how it goes. Um, the run was good. I did 4.96 in a 603 pace. I should have just rounded it to five miles, but I had already stopped the timer by the time I saw, so. What can you do? But I'm gonna head inside, take a shower, eat lunch, and then head to the studio probably. So I will see y'all soon. Were we satisfied last time? You were mad. Wow, wow. Oh my god. That's so good. Oh. I'm doing scraffito, um, but not yet. I'm first signing my name um, because I just feel like I should before I start the hard work. And where can they find me? At Harabini on Instagram and you can email me by harabini at gmail.com. Wait, I'm on a break from that. You can't tell them that. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it, but like, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Under Spring I'm break here. vlog. Yeah. I'll be back.
Nuh-uh. 